All right, how's it going, everyone? We're here wrapping up tonight's semifinal action. Legacy League's post-game show presented by BTX Global. I'm joined with, we got Will, we got Derek Davis of the Brotherhood, Eric, Kevin Rivera of the Brotherhood, and Ian, as always. We're going to jump right into it since we have you guys here. We're going to talk about your game. Big blowout victory tonight. It was an impressive showing against the Goon Squad. What do you think went right for you guys? Uh, ball movement, man. We definitely... Uh Pushed the ball a lot better, you know, passed it a lot better, you know, also the communication on defense. The one man picked up for the double team, the man on the back end came up and picked up and steals and fast breaks, man. That's what got us a victory. Now you guys have successfully completed now. You're one game away from two straight undefeated seasons and champions. It's an impressive feat. Obviously, you guys think that no one can touch you, and I think that we deserve to give you guys that credit now at this point. A big statement victory, of course, over a really good team. So. I think with a matchup against No Limit, I think it's safe to say that it's going to be one of the best games this season. Yeah, you guys have employed the full court press a lot in the last few weeks, especially during the playoffs. Do you think that's something that you're going to carry on to the finals? Uh, most definitely. We know uh, No Limit got a couple good ball handlers, you know, just like Run TMC. If we would have saw them, they got Zako, Joey and Matt, they got Reggie, but fortunately we're seeing uh, No Limit, so Terrell could push the ball. You know, Ronte got a little bit of handle. I feel like we're going to take that, though. Um, John and Howie, you know, they both athletic and quick, so we just got to be quick with it, uh, keep the rotation and the communication. Okay, yeah. now, uh, I was going to say, uh, your win over Goon Squad, last time you guys played them was sort of a little bit of a ratchet up with the energy, maybe a little bit of bad blood between those two teams. We don't need to get too into it too much. But they were down Brandon Massaro, who's their, their true point guard and I think their biggest ball handler. I know it might not have changed the course of the game, but a team like you guys that are ball hawks and you lead the league in steals, them not having a point guard seemed to really hurt them. Do you think that you were able to maybe attack them a little bit more? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, number 42, Matt, right? That's his name? Matt, Matt Marconi, yeah, correct. Yeah, that, that, that guy, man, he, he held the team down. So you're telling me they're missing their point guard. I mean, it's all the more impressive. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the first time we played them, yeah, it was a little, you know, it was a little tough game, you know. But, uh, nothing we couldn't handle. We respect them guys 100%. And, uh, yeah, just to know they were down to me, and, I mean, that's probably been the story of our life both seasons. <laughs> It definitely, it definitely showed that they were in desperate need of a point guard tonight. I thought with the addition of Matt Del Monte, they would be fine. But it, you guys, the Brotherhood, showed that you guys could defend full court pressure. You yourself got at least five, six blocks tonight. The defense really took over this game and really gave you the 20-point lead that you uh, earned tonight. So great job on defense, and I look to see that in the finals against No Limit. And this all came without your defensive player of the year, K. Hill. So yeah. you guys yeah. expect him to no be back? No big man either. No big. Yeah, no no Tim either. Tim no fifth man either, man. So, but yeah, uh, next week, man, expect both of those guys, man. K. K. to be a ball hawk on either John Howie or Terrell and Tim to grab basically every rebound, man. He's going for it all. Now, we're going to pivot a little bit now. We're going to go on to our first game that we had tonight. It was No Limit versus Run TMC. Now, we know, of course, that No Limit did come out victorious. Great game, you know, No Limit was down five at half. They came back, they ended up winning. Good, hard-earned game. Reggie Stewart, of course, put on for Run TMC like always, but not enough. It was a night of first, a first loss for Run TMC with Reggie Stewart. Can we talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, really intense game, you know, great physical play. Um, you know, John Rulon and Terrell came out with 23 points apiece. Reggie dropped 41. Uh, one point loss for Run TMC, unfortunately, but, you know, No Limit. Facing you guys, Kev, how do you feel? How are you going to shut down that perimeter shooting from uh, from No Limit, from uh, Howie and, and John and everybody else? I feel like it's, it's going to be a good matchup. We know them. Like, we've play, played ball against them all our lives. Um, it's just going to be, like, who could just edge each other out because we know what every player does. So it's going to be a good game. So we'll see. Have they beat you guys? Where? Maybe it's back and forth. It's pick-up ball. Yeah. It's, it pick depends. ball, yeah, that goes back and forth, man. Everybody has their days, and then there's some days people are off, or there's just some days it's good competition, and one person just outpeaks the other. Now, I, I'm, I'm curious, with you guys, one of your strengths as a team is that you have a really deep bench, you know, and you can play nine deep. No limit, they have six men on their roster, and they predominantly play mostly just four of those guys. Do you think in the game plan, sort of tiring them out, fast-paced basketball has got to be the way to sort of get the edge? Most definitely. Run it. All the way. All the way. How long is it? 40 minutes, 42 minutes, the whole game. The, every every quarter, it's up and down. No matter what, somebody gets tired, they come out. We have a deep bench. We know it. We got to utilize it as our advantage. 
and that goes all the way back to week one. Jabril, I was interviewing him, and he said, we got one philosophy, and that's run, run, run. And I should, that's been holding true this whole year. That was another big thing against in the first half against the run TMC game. Reggie Stewart got out on the fast break and just finished under the rim. So that was a big problem for the No Limit team going into the second half, and they definitely changed up their uh, defensive playing style. And they fixed that, and they stopped it, and that was a big reason why they came from behind and got the W. Impressive win. 41 points. 41 points for Reggie Stewart, Stewart tonight. Nice. How many thing, rebounds we, do you we know? know how to, uh, we all know our roles, too. Like, we don't, we don't get out of our position. Like, we know if somebody's down, we need to step up. But we never, we don't all try to step up at the same time, because that's, there's only one ball. So that's, that's why we're successful. That's why we haven't lost. I think when it comes to the brotherhood, a lot of people, they see the flashy highlights and everything, but they don't realize that these pro they're probably the best in the fundamentals and just strategizing, too. So I think that's one of the unheralded things about we your team. We actually play ball, not just here. We play on 10 feet. We know how to play ball, so we just implement that here. Well, it's obviously apparent you guys, like I said, haven't lost a game yet, so we're excited for that. We'll be back, like, next Tuesday for the finals. It's going to be... The number one team against the number two team, you know, maybe not as much parity as we thought, but at the end of the day, the two, top two teams made it out. You guys, your chance to bring that baby home for the second time. It's already so. home. It's already home. It's already home. 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 You need it, bro. Come and get it. Like you need always, it. Come and get it. On social media at legacy underscore leagues, the website thelegacyleagues.com. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Uh, we got a comment from uh, Terrell Vargas. And, uh, <laughs> They have dropped out. They forfeited. No. But <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, cool. Take it easy.